the story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Reynard's house is just up the beach. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. Forty-seven. That computer. See if you can't access it. Encrypted. Hmm. Assuming there's a key, Reynard wouldn't just leave it lying around. Wait. According to the floor plan, the room you're in should be a lot bigger. There might be a concealed space behind the wall. Check for hidden panels, Forty-seven. Ah. I thought so. This should be interesting. <phone rings> Nicely done, 47. Getting caught on tape is the last thing we need. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector. Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Okay, we've got all we're going to get. Go to stage 247. 
Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. Oh, I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the yeah, team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Tell me who it was we just kidnapped? House guests of the PM. The wife and two daughters of one Lance Donovan, the VP of Dynasty Global. The online retailer? Uh-huh. Donovan is back in London, working. He should receive the pictures as we speak. Ah, blackmail. Donovan's boss, Dynasty CEO Rupert Pierce, is a top Providence operative. But we can't get near him, so I decided to, well, do a bit of outsourcing. Oh, could you fix me a cup of tea? Sure thing. You want sugar? Honey? Um, sugar. No problemo. Mr. Donovan. Who I am is not important. You have seen the pictures, yes? Good. I will tell you exactly what to do. Do it swiftly and without question, and your wife and children go free, unharmed. Refuse or hesitate, and your family dies. Attempt to signal or warn anybody, and your family dies. Do we have terms? Mm, not very convincing, Mr. Donovan. Take a deep breath and try again. Much better. Now. You will take the stairs up to the rooftop helipad where your boss, Rupert Pierce, is taking his morning jog. You will inform his guards that you are delivering an urgent message. You will approach Mr. Pierce, lure him close to the edge, and toss him off the building. Hey, you want green tea or mango? What do you think? You heard me, Mr. Donovan. The life of your boss for the life of your wife and daughters. Shouldn't be much of a choice, even for a workaholic. Do you understand me? Very good. Now, go. If I don't hear sirens from downtown London in five minutes, your family suffers the consequences. Best of luck, Mr. Donovan. We thank you for your sacrifice. Is it done? Good as. And Mr. Donovan's wife and children? The guys will let them go at the stroke of midnight, unless I say otherwise. Boss's orders. You know how squeamy she gets about collateral damage. Ugh. Unbelievable. I'm gonna turn in. You come in or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
Uh, when are you gonna tell the house about me? When am I what? You know what I mean. Welcome home, Alma. And guest. I'm staying here too, you know. Least you could do is teach it my name. Or maybe you don't expect to keep me around long enough to bother, is that it? I, um, didn't know it was that important to you, Orson. What can I say? My bad. I've been using the safe house for years. Right, you and Sean. Bet the house knew his name. Okay, I guess I could change it into... Welcome, Alma and Sean, too. <laughs> How's that? Hmm, funny. Or maybe second Sean. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Or Sean Light. <laughs> you know what, I'll think of some more while I go and brush my teeth. Fine. I'm gonna hit the shower. You do that, Orson. When are you shipping out again? Say, say what? I said, when are you shipping out again? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm supposed to rendezvous with the team in Riga, like five days from now. I've got no idea what the mission is or who my teammates are. Target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. to get past them unnoticed. I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one.
It's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next, crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past, your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tanyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next put on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get.
You, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? Suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in it, got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine, let's do this. Coming in. Everyone on your stations now. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. I may only be a tech reporter, but I have ambitions too, you know. The fact is that Kronstadt is very likely with information on what actually happened in Kronstadt. So I just transferred from Metro to Tech. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. It's a beautiful view, I'm not for sure. I understood from the briefing earlier that we're just supposed to grab him if something happens to it. No poking around here. 
Octane booster, huh? What is that stuff, anyway? I think some of the team are using it to increase car speed. Heard a few cross that mechanics talking about it the other day. Something about Knox not wanting to use it because guy wants to win on her own. the engine off. Let's just try to get this started again. Well, that doesn't sound good. Better call Knox. Mr. Knox? Yeah, it's Smith from down at the expo. Listen, the Mark III's making some, well, just odd noises. Uh, can you come? Great. All right. Yep. Yeah, I'll be here. This is the RK Speed Mark III. I swear to God, if someone's been tampering the first with the production car, unit, heads will roll. I need you to get in the car. Don't touch anything until I tell you. The very first one. This is the first dreams. It shouldn't behave like this at all. Try the engine, Smith. All right, try it now. This should work. Here we are, just a loose wire back there. Let me just reattach it. Good. Hit it, Smith. Oh, oh no! Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> 
We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 